my channel it's your girl sherry lucy here and in today's video we're going to do a haul this bag right there is very full i've been waiting about four days to record this video so let's jump into it this is going to be my target haul i am completely replacing almost all of my bath essentials um and so i wanted to just show you guys what i purchased so the first thing is you guys already know that i like honey pot i purchased this i think at the beginning of the quarantine maybe around april there are 20 this is the honey pot company this is the regular herb infused has wings it has mint for cooling lavender for calming aloe for soothing it's plastified free fragrance free and chlorine free it's a plant-based feminine care company there's 20 in here i really 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 like the honey pot company i have almost everything there's some things that i feel that are not necessary for me this covers um out of out of four drops it covers two i like this this is good for if you are on the medium side of of heavy flow honey pot is a company that is for women who have vaginas made by women who have vaginas and the ceo and founder is a black woman so i'm going to continue to support forever and ever and ever as long as this brand is out on the market the thing that i do have from honey pot just to finish it off is that i have the um sensitive foaming wash i have the orange one which was like uh maybe like orange blossom or something like that i do like it i just wanted to know if the sensitive one was going to feel any different the other one didn't irritate me i have no problem like i have never had a bv uti any kind of feminine issues throughout my teenage years and my adult years at all so i'm lucky and blessed but not really the craziest about washing your vagina with um, feminine products per se all the time I think during around your period um, before and after sex these kind of things are good I like this I don't need to use this every day because every gynecologist I have met since I was 16 till now in my 30s have always said that the vagina cleans itself out and so getting a foaming wash any kind of wash is really just a choice that you make and I'm just happy obviously to support a black okay, so the next thing that I got is from this company I was I was looking for shampoo and conditioner um, when I was in Florida, once I decided that I wanted to fully grow my hair out, which you guys can see in a December video, which I talk about, um, I did the low porosity test, and I recognized that I have, I, the porosity test, I recognize that I have low porosity hair, and so that is my whole mission is Googling and searching and doing research on low porosity hair, and so I was using this Argan Oil company of uh, shampoo and conditioner i really liked it but i left i didn't want to take a half used bottle and i was like let me just leave this to my mom because she's going more on the natural route and so um when it came home i still had the organics shampoo and conditioner one thing i learned about having um low porosity hair is that it's important to use sulfate free and so when i came home i noticed a difference one the water in florida and the water in new york in the shower system is totally like 180 like they're two different kinds of people it's literally apples and oranges and while yes they're the same fruit which is water the pressure changes my hair and as soon as i came home and i took a shower i noticed how much vibrancy and the bounce back that i had but i also used a sulfate product a sulfate shampoo and while yes my hair was clean it felt like it was stripped of everything and I wanted to find something that I was going to keep for a while and I emerged on, on this company called emerge and um, one they smell amazing Ugh, they smell whatever this is inside of here is I want to smell like this all the time oh it's sweet almond oil mm dollars at Target which I thought was awesome and even the deep conditioner so I have a protein deep conditioner and I think that doing too many protein treatments in my hair will essentially break it and so I want to alternate between doing a protein treatment once a week and then doing a deep conditioning probably once or twice a week and I like that these companies are made for my kind of hair the next thing I have been trying to step it up with the, with the teeth department um, I'm pretty frequent with my dentist um, I I have some Oral B tubes. Uh, what are these called? Floss picks, and it was too thick. It was hurting my teeth. And then one time I broke it. I was like, no, that could be my teeth. So I, I said, fuck that. So I got these. So I've been trying to step it up with like my teeth care. I've gone pretty much organic in terms of 
majority of my everyday essentials. I really like the Hello Company, and so I got the Hello Anti-Plaque Whitening Fluoride Free Tooth Face. This is the natural program made with tea tree and coconut oil. It whitens teeth, removes plaques, crushes tartar, mind-blowing freshness. Um, it's never tested on animals, and it's sulfate and sweeteners and diet diet uh, dyes free, which I really like. And then, um, so I got this toothpaste, and then I got the Hello Natural Fresh Antiseptic um, Mouthwash, which I thought they were the same, but they're not. So they're, this is the natural free mint with farm grown peppermint, which, what is farm? We ain't gonna get it. I got the Colgate 360 Charcoal four times more bacteria removal and it's it's a it's a digital one it's it's really cute i like that it has charcoal it's it's i want to get the quick quick or kip quick toothbrush but i don't know why i can't pull the plunge on it does anybody if anyone has it sound off in the comments below and let me know if it's something that i should invest in should do more research should i read more reviews because i'm always like really if i feel indecisive about anything i usually choose just not this issue with using my expensive conditioners for <laughs> for shaving and I want to graduate from that and so I decided to treat myself to the EOS which is the Evolution of Smooth um, Shea Butter Shave Cream. This is for sensitive skin. It's got collodial oatmeal in it. It's 24 hour moisture, clinically treated or tested for non-irritating. So a long time ago the packaging was different and I received that in my influencer um, random box of stuff and I really liked it and then it lasted me probably well over maybe six to nine months which I really like and I don't I still shave I really want to do laser but for the time being especially with corona being around I stick to shaving my pits and them and my lady parts and so I wanted to find something instead of using conditioner because it's such a waste of product anyway and just find something that was meant for shaving so I got cleanser to make me feel clean and so gel has been the best thing I don't like foam I don't like cream um, I don't like anything else other than gel and so I found this Versed V-E-R-S-E-D wash it out gel cleanser it has rose water and seaweed extract it's 6.4 ounces I think this was about 12 or 13 dollars and had really good reviews but a lot of people were just saying hey even though it does say for all skin types just know that if you are acne prone which I am this is not something for you I'm fine with not having a cleanser that is for acne because I feel like if you use a cleanser that's constantly for if you constantly cleanse your face with a cleanser that is meant for acne I feel like it's forcing something to come up it's a theory that I have it could just be me but let me just ride on that so I got this I'm curious what it'll be like if I like it I'll come back if not it'll end up in my empties in the next couple of months I'm a huge fan of Dr. Teal's um, I wish Dr. Teal would sponsor me I am a queen of taking baths on the regular and so essentially I um, have always purchased Dr. Teal's but I saw this right next to it and so this company is called Village Nature Naturals Therapy this is chronic pain and fatigue it has arnica and Epsom salt and I thought it was really okay so look at the stuff that it has it has regular Epsom and sea salt to help you unwind D rib rose which is tightened skin for a healthy appearance and then it has blueberry and ginger nourishing and soothing um, flaxseed oil which is skin nourishing omega 3s and then rosemary essential oils for, um, for bold vapors um, I like this because it is sponsored Sponsored by the natural, sorry, the National Fibromyalgia Association. I'm a huge fan of soaking your body, your feet, your mind. Like that is, it's really, really good. Especially as a New Yorker, I'm a huge, huge advocate for people taking their time to unwind from New York City. slowing down and drinking water. Thanks, but not least is a lavender and sage Schmidt's uh, mineral enriched natural deodorant. I love natural deodorant. I have been on the hunt to find the right one. It seems like I have not found it. I, once upon a time I did. I'm so upset with myself for not taking a picture of it. But you live and you learn and eventually I will go back to Whole Foods and search and search and search inside of the deodorant aisle to figure out what the fuck I had that was so good. Like that natural deodorant was so good. I had it back in January of 2019 that my friend gave me because she was looking at Whole Foods. And I'm fucking hot. This one smells nice. It does feel like an, uh, a... a <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's a, a ceremony when I put it on and so it's so right now I wore it 
today, my, my pits don't smell like anything. They kind of just smell like skin, and I've been sweating. I'd rather smell like skin than it's to smell like bunk, because that is the worst. But thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Let me know if there's anything that I've purchased that you have tried. Send it off in the comments below. People are partying outside. I'm going to go and take a shower. And I thank you, as always, for supporting your girl. Anything that you want to see, let me know down below. Bye-bye.